A reamp box is a powerful yet simple device that allows you to get the most out of your guitar amps, bass amps, and effects pedals within your studio. Here's how it works. You record an electric guitar or bass to your DAW with a DI box connected to your audio interface. If you want to play through a guitar amp during the initial performance, you can simply connect the through output of the DI box into a guitar amplifier. You could also play through a virtual amp plugin. This isn't required, but it will definitely make the performance feel more comfortable. Once you've recorded a good take with the DI box, you'll have the ability to send the recording back out of the DAW into an amplifier so that you can re-record the performance with different amp settings. But you can't just connect the output of your interface directly to the input of a guitar pedal or amplifier because the signal coming out of your interface is line level and the guitar equipment is designed for instrument level signals, like the signal from your guitar pickups. This is where a reamp box comes in. A reamp box will convert the line level signal from your interface into an instrument level signal. Now you can dial in the sound with various effects pedals and amplifier settings and record it back into your DAW with a microphone. There are many ways to use a reamp box in your studio, and in a moment we'll walk through some examples. The main benefit though, is that it allows you to focus on the performance while recording, rather than feeling the pressure to get the perfect sound before tracking. You should still strive to get a decent sound from your amp before hitting record, but you can rest assured knowing that you'll have the direct signal as a backup in the event that you want to change the sound later on. For me, this means that I can record with as little resistance as possible when I'm feeling creative, I can quickly and easily record my ideas through a virtual amp plugin and revisit the recording later on once I've captured a good take. Guitar amps and pedals were my gateway into the recording and mixing world, so it's fun to have all of my pedals and amps accessible to me during the mixing process. As you'll see later on in the video, you can use the reamping workflow for more than just guitar and bass. A reamp box can open the door to harnessing your guitar gear and creative ways to spice up any instrument including vocals, drums, keyboard, or anything else you can think of. Let's start with a traditional reamping setup. I've got this guitar track recorded into my DAW. I'm going to play it through my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe guitar amp and record the amp with this Austrian Audio OC818 microphone. Currently, my mix is playing out of output 1 and 2 on my audio interface. I'm going to change the output of my guitar track to output 3 on my audio interface instead. Then, I'll connect output 3 of my audio interface to the input of my radial reamp box with a quarter inch TRS to XLR male cable. And I'll connect the output of the reamp box to the input of my guitar amp with a quarter inch TS instrument cable. When I press play in the DAW, I can hear my guitar track playing through my amp as if my guitar were connected to the amp directly. I've even got the ability to fine tune the level of the reamp box, just like fine tuning the output level of my guitar. My microphone will be connected to input one on my audio interface, and I'll create a new track within the DAW session set to record input one. Now I've got time to experiment with different amp settings and mic placements without worrying about the performance. I like to use these direct sound EX29 isolation headphones while doing this because they allow me to listen to the recording with as little sound coming from the amp itself as possible. Once I find a sound that I like, I'll make sure the microphone's track is armed, and I'll press record. Now I've just got to wait until the song plays through. When it's done, I'll disarm the new track and mute the original track. If I don't like the sound, I've still got the original track and can repeat this process until I find the sound that I'm looking for. Maybe I don't want to record a real guitar amp at all and I just want to insert some effects pedals that will play into a virtual amplifier within my DAW. I could do the same thing that I did before, recording the wet sound to a new track. Alternatively, I could just create a hardware insert on the guitar track itself. This is usually done by using an insert plugin within your DAW that allows you to select a send and return channel on your audio interface. Now, at this point in the signal chain, the guitar signal is sent out of the interface through output 3 and returns through input 3. That means that I need to use a quarter inch TRS to XLR mail cable from output 3 on the interface to a reamp box, a quarter inch TS instrument cable from the reamp box to the input of my pedal board, 
and a quarter inch TS instrument cable from the output of my pedal board to a DI box that's connected to input three on my audio interface. This is how you do it if you are using a regular reamp box and a DI box. But I'm going to use this device, which is basically a reamp box and DI box all in one. It's called the Radial EXTC or XTC, and it's available as a standalone device or as a 500 series module, such as the one I've got right here. The benefit of this device is that there's a send and return level knob that gives me more control over the gain structure. With the insert set up, I can already hear the effect of my pedals in real time when I press play. These techniques aren't limited to only guitar and bass. You can create one-of-a-kind sounds by running vocals, drums, or other instruments through your guitar amps and pedals. Let's try this with a piano. Either of the workflows I've shown you already could work here. You could even do a parallel setup using an effect send that returns on a new channel. This is similar to the first method, but slightly different. Instead of changing the main output of the piano track to the output that feeds the reamp box, Let's create an effect send to that output so that the dry signal still comes out with the main mix. I'll create a separate track, just like I did before, so that I can blend the wet signal with the dry signal. Let's make this send on the piano track pre-fader and solo the wet signal for the initial setup so that we can more easily hear what we're doing. I think this Ibanez TS-808 Tube Screamer will give us a really nice overdrive on the piano. Now I've got a dry track and an overdrive track that I can blend in. When I find the right settings on my pedal, I'll print the signal to the return track by arming that track and pressing record. Make sure to check out the links to these reamp boxes in the description below this video. Remember, clicking my links before buying audio gear supports Audio University at absolutely no extra cost to you so that I can continue making more videos like this one. Let me know in the comments how you use reamping in your studio. Thanks for watching.